grateful for the opportunity to be here. You know, to, to be in Maryland, um, you know, to have a venue like that, uh, play big time across, something we uh, we don't take for granted. And so, uh, you know, we're thankful for the opportunity that we had today. Uh, I just told these seniors, these seniors just just set a program record, uh, 42 wins, which means that we're the first senior class to play four years of big time across, and they just won more games than any senior class in our program's history in terms of wins. So I think. The significance of that for these guys going in our senior week next week at home is pretty special to us. In the same token, we realize that um, without getting a win next week, we, we're going to be uh, we're going to be in a tough spot. So, um, something we're going to enjoy. You know, really proud of the way they handled this week and the process. of preparation it was a long week. We played Friday to have till Sunday. They did a great job navigating it, and um, you know, hopefully, we can really build on it going into Rutgers at home next weekend. Nick, did you see this sort of offensive progression coming? You know, I think we've seen it in practice. You know, I mean, we took 44 shots versus the team up north last week, which was a season high, so you felt like there was confidence from that. And we only shot the ball 18%, but generating shots is where it starts. You know, are you generating up scoring opportunities? Are you getting looks? And the fact of the matter is we felt like we have been. We've been doing that. When we play our defensive practice, we go ones-on-ones on Tuesday and Wednesday. We feel like that's as tough as any unit we're going to see in the country. And that's, that's certainly no disrespect to anybody else. We just have a lot of confidence in our, our units. So... You know, we've had some really good battles, and so I think we, our men have taken confidence from that, and, and the message from us has just been to, to continue to kind of put snow on the roof. You know, you got to keep shooting, you got to keep hitting the cage, you got to continue to stay in your offense, um, and it certainly helps when you win face-offs and you get to get back-to-back possessions. So, you know, credit our face-off and win play for kind of feeding us the ball on the offensive end, and certainly these guys for putting the ball away. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Coach, on another face off, what was working especially well, especially in that first half? Yeah, I mean, they got a great unit. You know, I think they, they got their multiple with some of the guys they put out there. Um, we got confidence in a couple of our guys. Justin went the distance today. Justin Tuma, our face off uh, goalie specialist, kind of our coach, has done a really nice job putting together a plan. But we talked about facing off with 10. I mean, that ground ball that Matt Borg just had, I mean, he's not on a wing. You know, that's a huge ground ball. Um, Kind of, you just you kind of feel like you got to go out there with ten guys, and, and it's a team effort. Freddie Frybot did a really nice job. I mean, Tara Fanko, if there's a better wing player out there besides him and Logan, you know, I would, I would, I would love to see him. You know, and those guys battle for each other. A lot of those were 50-50, so we were fortunate today they came up our way. Um, but you know, that, that's a really good unit we played today too. That was a, that was a good back and forth battle. For Jack and Colin, this win might, probably doesn't make up for what happened last year, but is there some redemption associated with this win? Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, this year we just, you know, had a new mindset. Um, you know, last year was last year. Uh, you know, this is a new season. Um, you know, we, we came to Maryland with one, one, one goal, and, and that was to get the W uh, today, which we did. Um, you know, now we just got to bounce back, come, go back to Columbus, and, um, you know, prepare for uh, Rutgers the best we can. Can you guys talk about the growth since uh, I last saw you live at Hopkins? You sort of turned it around. What happened since Hopkins to get you to today? Go ahead, Jack. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just really focused on getting back to basics. Um, we came in this week building off, like Coach said, from last week from Michigan and uh, really working on the offensive end. And then uh, we really put it together today, I mean, throughout throughout the game. So um, we started off fast, which is something we've been working on in practice. And uh, we started off 3-0, and then we came out second half, and we started off 3-0 again. So um, it's a lot easier to play in front than it is to play behind. So working on getting out fast, playing fundamentally, and just – Playing, making the right play, maybe not the most flashy play every time, is what we've been working on. So, Jack and Nick, you can kind of follow up on this too if you'd like. Uh, five assists today, really a good conduit for the offense. Did your role change at all, or is that something you guys were looking to do? And you can kind of follow up. How much does that change you guys when he is able to beat? I mean, no, my, my role has been been the same all year. Um, draw doubles, make the right play, move to where it's supposed to be today. Just having to be got a lot of guys open in the middle, so. Um, Looks were there. Guys are putting it away today, so uh, I, I don't get those assists. The guys don't put the ball in the back of the net, so uh, you got to give a lot of credit to them. 
Jack, was there a point where you felt like this game was, you, you had it locked up, you were being constantly aggressive? Is there a point where you felt really confident in your chance of winning this game? Uh, first play of the game. Uh, we, we were not we're not scared of anybody. So we came out and we knew that they were going to try try and intimidate us. And I mean, I don't know if you're here pregame, but they tried to intimidate us. And you know, we, we stood our ground, told them, you know, hey, you're not going to come in here and bully us. And, you know, that was, that was what we did on the first play of the game, too. You know, came down the field, one shot, one goal. How did they try to intimidate you? Crossing the 50. We're good there. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know, there's a line on the field, right? And you don't cross it. You guys were on the game long enough, and that you know, was bottom line. So, you know, I think we got a lot of respect for our tournament and for those in the Big Ten. And, uh, and, and certainly Maryland's been different. You know, but there's, there's a way you prepare for a game, and when you step on the field, there's a 50 yard line, and, and you don't cross it. Period. For Jack and Colin, how does this set you guys up, you think, for actually next week against the uh, Rutgers? Yeah, I think it gives us uh, momentum. Uh, you know, you know, last week we beat Michigan. Uh, you know, this week we play Maryland, beat them, number one in the country. Um, so, you know, I think it gives, it gives us a lot of confidence going to um, playing back at back at home uh, on Senior Day against Rutgers. Uh, it's a must-win for us, and you know, like I said, the confidence is huge for us, and we're going to carry that through this week in practice. Uh, Coach, your team did a good job, especially late in the game, limiting guys like Kelly, Bernhardt, Wisnowskis. What was the key that what was the game plan to try to keep them in check? They're really good. You know, I mean, I, I was fortunate to, to coach Jared um, on uh, Team USA. You know, I know how explosive a guy he can be. I mean, he, he had some great takes. I thought Benny did a really nice job uh, on him. Um, but I think it's it's just the, the support which we provide each other. They had some they had some two minute possessions there. They had that one in the third that I felt like lasted forever, but they finally scored. Um, and to be able to weather those storms of, of length of possessions, uh, the, 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 pop, the, 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 the talent that they have in that front six when they're out there together, and to know you got to rely on each other, that it's not just, hey, you guard you, this guy guards this guy. I mean, we slid and recovered a lot today. Uh, those recoveries were really important. And so I think that, you know, what we, would, what we would fall back on if you ask those guys is just the, the seven, you know, the scheme, and feeling like if we can stick to the scheme, um, I thought our goalie made some really timely stops down the home stretch um, that really sparked us. And uh, we, we tried giving the ball back to him twice in transition after we played a lot of D in the fourth. Um, so that put a little bit of pressure on us, but to be able to get that other that last stop after we had gone back on defense twice, really I thought was probably the difference in the game you know, in the fourth quarter. Coach, how many times have you taken down the number one team in the country in your career? I'd have to speak to our SID about that. Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't necessarily spend a whole lot of time thinking about that. But you know, we've got a couple, and, and um, I think Mike said before we knew this maybe the first time doing it on the road. Mm -hmm. You know, we were charged four years ago. We came into this big time lacrosse conference with an awesome challenge. You know, and I just think we've accepted that challenge. Mm -hmm. I accepted it with this senior class as freshmen, and I think to to know that we got one game that's really our fate. You know, an effort to keep this band together is, is really all we're focused on. And, I shared that number with them today because I'm, I'm just that proud of them to know that they, in this era, the first class of Big Ten have done something that, that they can be really proud of, you know, and, and to represent, you know, our Buckeyes, as you said last year. Last year's class broke the record at 41 and now at 42. Um, that's more meaningful to us than anything, you know, is just continuing to take positive steps. And I think that's what our program is really all about right now, and doing it the Buckeye way. We're grateful. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you.